What's up guys, it's Ryan with AOMC and I'm back today to show you a helmet that has pleasantly surprised me for 2022. Let's get into it. All right guys, this is the 2022 LS2 gate helmet. You may have seen the LS2 Subverter Evo MX700 video I did. This is the MX437. This is the little brother to the Subverter Evo. Uh, the Subverter Evo retails at 199. This is like a 129. Um, but I'm telling you, I don't think the photos do, these, do this helmet justice because once I took it out of the box, uh, I think these things look sweet. And I'm gonna go over the differences and some of the features of this gate helmet if you're looking for something a little more affordable or a little closer to entry level. This helmet's made out of the same construction that the Subverter Evo is. It's KPA, it's LS2's proprietary technology, it's kinetic polymer alloy, and they claim that it performs just as good or better than any composite materials on the market. So you're getting the same um, performance out of this helmet that you do the Subverter Evo. Obviously, this has a little more conservative look to it. You don't get the big swoop to the visor like you do on the Subverter Evo, uh, but still looks absolutely amazing. It has these ridges on top. It's a matte finish, but the colors are super bright. Same deal as the Subverter Evo. You get the 3D laser cut cheek pads. You have the um, big pull sign emergency release system right here should you ever need it. You know, Who knows, that could be a lifesaver. So you get the same removable and washable liner. You also get the same moisture wicking fabric. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the other video, but if you see this triangle piece right here, that reinforces the attachment of the chin strap. And LS2 says that because of the strength this triangle adds, it takes four times as much force before this strap is gonna fail as most other helmets. Something cool. So the LS2 Subverter Evo has the AREM which is the Advanced Rotational Energy Management. That system's gonna work like the MIPS did and let your head kind of slide in the helmet and just help with any sudden hits. You're gonna get a little more rotation and it's supposed to help with concussions. Um, this technology is supposed to be 25% better than their old MIPS stuff. So you got a big safety feature there. Also on the Subverter Evo, they like to call their visor unbreakable or near unbreakable. You can actually take that visor and bend it back and touch itself and it won't break. Um, these are a little more rigid, uh, fill up like a visor on a normal, on any other helmet. And then the last difference between the Subverter Evo and the gate is you get more venting in the Subverter Evo. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it because I show you the vents on it. It's probably got more vents than I've ever seen in any helmet before. So um, you still have substantial Venting in this helmet, especially for a helmet around 129, um, but not as not as much as the Subverter Evo. Another thing I like about this helmet is this uh, liner in here. This it's got like a snow camo and a high vis. It's just a very cool looking liner. So I I would not hesitate to wear one of these at all. And you guys know me. Um, I had to grab an extra large off the shelf. This is a youth just to show you kind of another graphic that's offered. There are a few different graphics and a few different colorways, but I had to try on this extra large for you guys and show you how it fits. So most helmets across the board, I'm an extra large. Um, we'll see where I'm at in this one. They just call me big head guys. Um, so I could wear this one. I've got a little more force on my cheeks than I like. So an LS2, I would probably move up to a 2X. So if I had to tell you, I'd say they tend to run a little smaller than other brands. But very comfortable, no pressure points. Also guys, you get a couple extra perks with these LS2s. You get extra visor bolts in every box, which is something you don't get with a lot of other entry level helmets. And I myself am always losing these and it seems like I have to go through all the pain to spend $3 to order visor bolts when I just rather have a couple extra on hand, so that's nice. And also their helmet bags are nicer. Um, you can see 
they're kind of pleated here. They've got the logo really big, so you actually get a quality helmet bag that long after you're done using this helmet, you might use for something else. So props to LS2. All right, guys, we have a lot of LS2 helmets in stock here at AOMC. We have gates, we have gate use, we have subverter evos. So go to AOMC.mx, $99 gets you free shipping. So any LS2 helmet you get from us is gonna ship for free. You're gonna earn BRAP coin on that on top of it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.